Hello everyone and welcome to my new tutorial. I'm SV and I have 1000 subscribers. Thank you very much for everybody that you are subscribed to my channel, that you are looking at my tutorials and this is very important for me. And before start my tutorial, especially for this event, I like to inform you about special uh, discount for my previous tutorials. So. Uh, as you remember, my last video was about a Forester plus Redshift plus Cinema 4D and how to optimize it uh, and to receive very good pictures with very fast render. So, uh, especially for uh, 1000 subscribers, I make a 75% uh, discount and this discount will be only for 20 first person who will buy. I repeat, only 20 person, first 20 person who will buy uh, this tutorial with a special um, special link which will be below this video will receive discount 75%. You will get this very nice, very interesting tutorial only for five dollars. So uh, today I'll show you how to create a diamond. If you are ready, let's start. Okay, we are in Cinema 4D and before start I like to show you some uh, Diamond Gia. What is this? This is like a, like a rules for all diamonds. What it should be, how it should be and what is going on. So, if you are open any Gia certificate, you will see uh, some parameters of all diamonds. You will see some degrees, weights, everything, reflection and many, many, many different, uh, different things. So uh, we will try to make same in Cinema 4D. Okay, start with Cinema 4D. Uh, first of all, I will create a disk. Will be only 50. Radius uh, segments 1 and 32 rotation, like this. After that, I am going to quick shading lines and what I have, I have like this. Very nice. So make this disk editable and give the name diamond. Oh, sorry. Other language. Diamond. Yeah, like this. Okay. After that, go to polygon selection and select tools. Make like this. Then hold counter on your keyboard and drag a little bit on the up. So make it approximately 3 centimeters. You will have like this. After that, uh, make it again and pick up it for maybe 18.5 centimeters. Maybe like this only. Okay, and make it, I don't know. 56, 56. So you will get like this. Looks like very nice. This is just beginning. After that, go to H selection, go to select and loop selection. All this panel I have in this area. I put it inside. So I will use from this area loop selection, select downstairs, counter on keyboard and copy it down. You will get like this. So looks like very nice. Uh, now I have a weld all this point. So I'm going to point selection, going again to loop selection, check this all points, then right click and go to weld. You will get like this. So just push left button and nothing more. So this point will be for minus, I don't know, maybe minus 43.5. I saw some video, it's approximately two or three years ago and one person create almost same. Okay, so I have like this. What next? What I have to do next? We are going to H selection. We are push right click and take a loop cut pass. So somewhere here I make a cut. It will be 45% like this. And somewhere here I make a cut. It will be 25%. So very nice. Okay. Uh, inside and diamond, take out this font tag. We no need it because font tag make 
this is not a sharp so i take this tag and make a delete that's all now i have a sharp figure very nice uh, what next i'm going to top view like this uh, edge selection and take a again loop selection you see like this and each second edge make selection together with shift on your keyboard like this so very nice what next go to front view take a rectangle selection and hold counter on your keyboard and make like this so take out these uh, edge selections so we have only top and only button very good then right click and push dissolve dissolve like this so look what we have looks like very nice after that going to again uh, age selection to live selection and select these edges on the top right click and again dissolve so you will get like this what we will do next uh, we are going right click and we are going to a line cut don't forget to check a visible only this should be checked this should be enabled in other way you will have a problem so we are going to this enable snape make it enable and enable like a vertex map this is what we will use now so okay right click line cut and start why it's not working yeah now it's working okay you see if we, i am push on the uh, correctly on the um, vertex you will get a green light if it's not you will have a blue or red line i hope you are understood okay and make like this so we will get a side of our diamonds it will be finally it will be really really very beautiful okay very nice look at this almost finish you remember we are create only 32 32 segments yes okay yes very nice so i get it then i am going to top view and right click again line cut and make like this i don't know how to explain in english what i am doing exactly but just follow to my tutorials and you will get a very very beautiful diamond it will be really very beautiful and looks like very natural so just create like this it's taking some time but final result will be so beautiful yes maybe i forget to tell you uh this diamond oh sorry you see yes was was not not correct remaining only two segments and we will get something for continuous our job yeah so you will get like this after that we no need any more this uh snape after that go to our live selection tool ages and select all these ages downstairs together with a shift on your keyboard select like like this right click and make it dissolve so you will get like this also we no need these ages we no need it because if you will check a picture for diamond you will not find this agent so just this solid after that we are going down select tools selection loop selection take mm, it's not working okay we will we will make like this so yeah take this right click and again dissolve so we no need it finally you will have like this so our diamonds almost ready except one thing we are going to front view we are going to vertex selection we are select all this in just a moment we are select all these vertices and just pick up little bit on the top and make like this 
so maybe 82 maybe 82 yeah looks like very nice and it should be like a like a small small sphere maybe maybe like this so when everything done you will get like this it looks like very very beautiful and very interesting uh, what we will do after we are going to our render settings and change for redshift inside redshift i will use a ipr just just take out ipr we no need ipr i'll explain you why okay just later yes because ipr have a calculation for our photons inside photons you you can uh, all photons you cannot do with ipr okay what next uh next we will create a some i don't know some uh, some scene so we are going to plane uh make this plane so big size maybe like this create to this plane uh band uh tool make like this then make this band tool for 20 percent uh, or for 90 percent sorry and just select band go to rotation tool and change maybe like like this 90 degrees direction so i have it and i'm going to bend and just little bit reduce maybe make like this I'm going to plane and increase a segments for i don't know maybe maybe i will use a 200 segments and don't forget yes this is very important as you can see here i have like these segments and this is very big size of segment so i have to go to bend and keep y lens this is very important so i'll have like this very nice so and now a little bit of play with this maybe just a moment i think yeah you see you see what i have so i make like this approximately this doesn't matter it's not so very important but i'll do like this so going back and just take my diamond and pick up so i have my diamond uh, now i'll create a summer camera so for this camera i will use a redshift camera tag and going to exposure enable and make vignette 10. so very nice what next uh, how to create a redshift material for this diamond first of all i'm create a material for my plane uh, right sorry not right click right click this is for standard uh, standard material for cinema 4d we have to go to create redshift and standard material okay uh, i'll use what i use uh, color i'll use maybe like maybe like this color this looks like not so bad after that i'm created noise texture and bump apply here and apply like a bump input so uh, i don't need too much bump maybe 0 0.3 and noise uh, maybe one will be and noise not fractal maybe cell so like this uh, just apply this texture to my uh to my plane uh go to the render <clears throat> and just play what i have i have like this uh, looks like not so bad uh, don't forget in present moment i haven't any light any illumination so i haven't any shadow but anyway it looks like not so bad not so bad okay what next uh create one more redshift material and this material we will call a uh, diamond very nice apply this material to our diamond what we have in present moment nothing so um i'm going and create in mm, few lights okay if you like to receive very nice very nice photon very nice caustic you have to use a point light so for this reason i'll use a spotlight or spotlight or point light I, uh, or if you use a area light you will have not so beautiful caustic so i'll use a spotlight like this just change maybe somewhere here pick up it very nice i have like this uh, copy this light put somewhere here so looks like very nice then i'm going to top view and just take this light 
and put somewhere on the forward and after that again change a uh, rotation of this light so no not this button sorry i think it will be this button yeah like this and like this so uh, just render and check what i have yeah i have some some shadows and it's, this looks like not so bad so i am going to the slides and somewhere down con angel i will make a maybe 65 just to make a more and fallout angel for 20 like this so i have uh, two shadows from two different lights and i have very nice this area with a black color so some fallout of the light uh, very nice what next so um I'm going to diamond, in present moment I'll stop it, and inside in diamond, diamond material, what I need, first of all, I no need any diffuse color, nothing, and I need full refraction, like this, okay, what I have, if I play now, I have like this, it looks like already more better, but anyway, it's still not a diamond, still not a diamond, Okay, before continuous with diamond material, we have to make a, some caustic. How to do it? First of all, I have to go to my spotlights. Inside spotlights, I have a, this photon and I have to enable caustic photon. GI we no need, only enable caustic photon. Okay, after that, I have to go to my diamond and create for my diamond redshift tag object this is very important in other way my tag given any caustic so i'm going to this object parameters going to visibility and make it enable so inside i have many many different settings but for us very important cast caustic photon just enable it and look what i have nothing happened because like i told you before yes uh IPR render not calculate photons only bucket render only bucket render calculate photons so uh, to switch on bucket render in render view you have to push this button like this and enable photons look what have yeah you see now some photons coming but it's is not so beautiful and and now I will show you how to fix it Anyway, we are already get these photons. So, uh, how to increase or decrease these photons? There is two ways. First of all, uh, you can play with these uh, photons settings. So, if for example, caustic search radius you will increase, I don't know, maybe one. You will have like this. If you are decrease minus, uh, sorry, zero, zero, 001, you will have like this. It's very will be sharp. So for my tutorial, I will use a 0 0.2. I will get like this and it looks looks like good. Okay, what next? Uh, second way, you can use your lights. So you can use two lights together or separately. For example, from uh, light number one, I like to receive more photons. I just go in here and intensity multiplier, I am increase, I don't know, maybe five. And look what I have. So from this area, from this light, which is going like here, I have more photons. In this area, I have less photons. Okay, for my two lights, I will use a five. Five. I will use like this. What I have? I have too much photons, but uh, quality of these photons, not so good. What I have to do? I am going to numbers of photons to emit. And here I have C uh, 100,000. So I'm just increase it up to 1 million just make one zero and push enter what i have look at this calculation coming more longer but quality of the photons will be more beautiful more like a blue red and it's it looks like not so bad okay when it's done uh, we have to set up our material so in present moment we have some photons and it looks like great so how to set up material uh before before start before start uh, we have to check a ior for refraction so link to reflection no need ior for ref refraction i make uh, myself so as you remember 1.333 this is like a for water just check as a different what will be with our uh, photons 
Wait a little bit. Yeah, will be like this. Not so bad. So we are going to internet, going to our Google and inside put it IOR. You will find like this site. Pixel, Pixel Land, Poly, something like this. IOR list. If you are going down, you will have IOR for many, many, many different materials. But for us, very important this. Look at this. Diamond. Should be 2 point four one eight so we are going inside to our um, redshift settings and our we will put two point four one eight like this and look at the different material coming like this calculation in progress we have to wait a little bit and I'll get what I'll get I'll get like this it's very sharp and very small and our diamonds already more or less good looks like more beautiful so um, to increase my calculation during this tutorial I will reduce numbers of photons for 10 times only like this it will be more faster uh, but for final render it should be 1 million don't forget maybe I will forget but you please don't forget so now I'm increase my diamonds uh, so I mean scale for diamonds and I start to play with some settings so Anyway, it looks like not so beautiful. Uh, first of all, I like to add some additional dome light. This dome light will give me some additional specular. So I am going to dome light, I am going to general, and I'll use my standard... Uh, where is this? My... Diva Studio HDR map. Maybe you know, all time I use this map and it looks like very beautiful. So I have it. I am going to background and I no need this background. And okay, if you like to receive from this DOM map also some photons, you're just going to photons and make it enable. But I am do not make like this. In other way, I will have some, I don't know. First of all, we are going to save. We are save it like a diamond on the desktop somewhere. Yes, overwrite. So uh, you see, yes, now it's coming more, more bright. Without this, it's more dark. And with this, more bright. Okay, uh, what I don't like, I don't like this reflection. So I am going to this material and take out this reflection. I no need it. So I, I just like to receive like this. Okay, if I like to receive photons from this, uh, dome light, I just uh, make a calculate and increase it in five times. So look what I will have. Now photons will calculate from everywhere, from my spotlight and from my dom light but as you can see from dom light i have too much noise why like this because my dom light this is like a big area like a, a round light so spotlight this is just a point and my opinion better do not use any dom light for uh, calculation of photons we no need it also will be same situation if you will use a i don't know maybe area light you will take an area light you will just go in here maybe pick up a little bit maybe change an angle like this increase um, increase 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 intensity maybe maybe 10 and going to photons and calculate our photons and look what i have also from area light again it will be too much noise too much noise and yes you can reduce this noise increase a photons emit like this but the final result will be not so good so like i told you for a uh, good and beautiful calculation of photons use only point light this is will be very important okay look at this i already have a uh, more or less beautiful diamond and it looks like very nice but if you are going to again to my um, google you are going to diamond make like this going to pictures and look what i have uh, i have many many different uh, like a rainbow rainbow reflections and it looks like very nice if you will check here, also it's not only white color, uh, yeah, very beautiful pictures. I'll show you how to make these pictures like these pictures today. You will get it, you will receive very nice result and um, how to make this reflection inside in Redshift. So we are going in Redshift, we are open again Diamond, going here and inside in our reflection color, look, if I will change any color, I will get a different kind of reflection, yes? Uh, 
but how to make it rainbow so it's very simple i am create a ao like a texture and apply this texture to my reflection to my color like this what i'll get i will get in present moment nothing inside in this reflection so i will show you maybe like this yeah in oh come on okay i am come back so i am going to diamond material uh, again yes how to get a rainbow in a reflection i have to create a texture ao ambient occlusion apply this texture to my uh, reflection color and change this ambient occlusion output mode for bent normal world space like this and what i'll get look at this i'll get a very interesting situation and all my different edges will give me different uh, different reflection so then i'm going to ramp apply this inside to the ramp and ramp apply downstairs like this and change this ramp to alt going to ramp and load preset i will use a uh, rainbow maybe number two rainbow number two so wait a little bit and yeah it will be red color maybe i will use like this you can play with different colors and you will get different result maybe like this or just without nothing it depend what kind of diamond you need so i will use without nothing i will get like this so if i just turn a little bit you will see i have a different reflection from different areas and it looks like looks like very nice but i like to give also different and rainbow reflection to my uh, refraction so i am going to material and inside in the refraction you will find a dispersion setting so this is zero for a moment if i increase and make it one look at the different of my you see you see what i have i have a refraction with some rainbow and it looks like already very nice but too much noise so to reduce this noise i have to increase my dispersion maybe i will use a 50 for a moment check what will be now anyway i will have a very nice refraction with very nice i don't know some rainbow for my photons so if you no need to receive this uh, reflection rainbow you just make a disconnection and you will get like this just wait a little bit you will get like this it depends what you need and what kind of diamond you are doing so for my dispersion i will make i don't know maybe 20 now we will check what will be yeah calculation in progress i'll get i'll get like this and what i can see it's too noisy how to take out this noise there is two ways or you have to go to my redshift and increase the samples max and samples minimum increase here you will have more beautiful picture or you have go to sample override refraction and reflection increase or other way you can do it inside in the material so i am going in the material and samples for reflection i will make 64 it will be more beautiful look look for the change now like this and for refraction samples on also 64 and look at now now it will be more beautiful without some additional noise yeah you see what i have okay so uh just check what i have maybe from this area looks like very nice yeah looks like very very interesting yes i have to go to dome light and maybe i just reduce exposure maybe minus one maybe like this just to give some some very nice black color yeah looks like very nice so i have diamond i have material for this diamond and how to make how to make a like this picture so it's it's very simple uh i'm take out this what i need i select my diamond i am going to i am going to er, these tools and create an instance so i have instance from diamond 
this diamond I just put somewhere down, I no need it for a moment. And this instance I'll put inside to my uh, cloner, monograph cloner, like this. So um, we'll make it maybe maybe three, three, three like this for a moment. Okay, just pick up somewhere in this area. So after that transformation, I will make I don't know 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. We'll make it smaller. Mm, okay, reduce. Uh, Reduce like this. Just put little bit down. And what next? After that I am going here, going to effector, make it a random effector. In the parameters I no need any position, I need a only scale. So scale will be 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. No, I will use a uniform scale, it will be 0 0.5. Yeah, like this. So I will get, I will get more or less good result just check it yeah it's not touching uh, so uh, for my plane i will create a simulation collider body tag and inside inside collision i will use a shape this is will be static mesh and bounce really i no need any bounce and friction maybe 50 percent friction so then i'm going to cloner create a simulation rigid body tag it will be automatic shapes, friction, okay, maybe 30 and no need any bounds. So, and collision will be for apply tag to a children and individual elements, yes. Uh, after that, I just, I don't know, maybe increase 300 frames. I'm going to project settings, will make 24 frames, it will be 360 frames. So very nice, just play, look what is going on, it's going on like this. Very nice, and after that we are just going and make a render. We are making a render. Just wait a little bit, render in progress. Yeah, okay, it's it's not so beautiful for a moment. We will wait a little bit. So maybe I will try to maybe I will try to take out my dom light and render it again. Just check what I have. Yeah, maybe maybe like this will be more better for a moment. Okay, I have black color. Just going here. Here I have a white color. Here is more beautiful dome map. How to get how to get like this picture? Yeah, so uh, for a moment I have like this. I just take out this uh, AO from my uh, from my refraction uh, from my color reflection. Sorry, uh, then I am going to increase some samples, maybe 32, and I will also increase uh, photons for one million just to receive a final result. Then I am just increase little bit a reflection from this area. So I am going here, make it maybe zero ah, okay will be zero just them just doesn't matter so i no need this bump okay try make a render now and just check what i have just check what i have now it should be more or less good what was before and what we'll get now yeah so very nice uh, looks like looks like very beautiful now uh, in Adobe After Effects or Photoshop, you will add some, how it's calling, you will add some stars glow and you will get more or less same result, more or less same result. And additionally, we have these photons. So if you take out these photons, you will have, for example, yes, if I'm going and I just from my diamonds take out my photons. So render again, it will be more faster and you will get like this you will have some refle uh, reflection you will have some shadow and it's very similar to this very similar uh, only you need some additional settings in some uh, you know photoshop or adobe after effect so this is just example for you we know not use it we are going back to my tutorial it's just just like a small small bonus Okay, what next? Copy of this diamond. Change size of this diamond. 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. And change rotation. 
for 90 degrees like this so uh, anyway I will going back and make connection so I will use this uh, what next how to create a letters with a very beautiful diamonds inside I am going and create a shape where is this shape of this letter so I will use I don't know I will use a number number one for a moment number one where is this number one just change rotation okay make it middle make it bold so i have number one and inside number one i'll use a hundred maybe hundred size only like this so you can use any font what you like for this tutorial i will show you segoya standard standard cinema 4d font going to right view take my diamond and put it inside in number one somewhere here so i have number one and somewhere will be my first diamond then somewhere here will be my diamond and then two pieces i will put like this with a counter on your keyboard just make it a copy so i have it and it looks like not so bad what next uh, just double check that your text and your diamond on one line this is very very important what we will do next going to text and create one more circle like this make size of the circle i don't know it will be radius will be 5.2 just just very very small pick up it and check what i have so this circle should be little bit bigger just very little bit bigger than my diamond uh, make it shape and just push uh, like this so copy put here copy put here copy come on where is you put here so around all my diamonds i have the circles and it looks like very nice what next next i take my text and make copy of this text this text will be number one yeah i make just copy of this text and put it close to my circle select all my four circles and text right click and make it connect and delete object you will have a very nice very interesting spline and you will have number one text so what next i am going here and create a extrude object put this inside and make it i don't know i will go to object this i no need i need minus 10 yeah minus 10 will be minus 10 also i'm going to my text i'm going to tools ex extrude and inside extrude i also make it minus 10 so what i have if i check this i have these holes this without holes how i'll use it i'll take this without holes and just put to the back like this so for what i need this holes in other way my diamonds will give it any very beautiful refraction so i have like this it looks like very nice and i'll create some material so i am going to redshift material open that what color i will use i don't know it will be some some maybe violet color okay uh 272 i have it come on what's the problem yeah 100 will be 50 and will be 272 yeah like this so i have it it will be exactly like in my tutorial it will be 0 0.5 uh, refraction and roughness 0 0.5 i have like this and additionally i will use um, it will be in utilities corner round corner i'll use it like a bump so without any change of settings just like this apply this material to my extrude one and two going closer 
change like this somewhere and just a render check what I have. We have to wait, yes, because photons will make a very good calculation. Yeah, look at this. It looks like looks like very very beautiful and looks like very like original, yes. If I haven't these holes, I'll show you the problem, yes. For example, I haven't these holes. I just take out this and just make copy of this and put it somewhere somewhere to the forward like this if i will render now what's the problem so now inside in my number i haven't holes and when coming a render i'll get a problem because mesh of my diamonds touching of mesh of my numbers and look what i have yeah i don't like it it's like a plastic with holes and without holes you see a very big different yes and so we will use like this i'm just going here and just make like this back and back so okay uh the same way i will use a zero so i'm just i don't need this randomize uh i just select all of them alt g on my keyboard and make it like a one number one okay uh one more time same situation for zero i am going and create a text this text will be zero it will be on the middle it will be bold just change for 90 degrees so um reduce the size and put this text somewhere here and little bit pick up just little bit little bit maybe like this so looks like very nice i don't know i take one diamond only one and copy here i don't need to swap for a moment maybe maybe i will put here maybe like this it's absolutely up to you where you put and how you will put these diamonds you can use it for i don't know yeah like this why not Looks like very nice. So, uh, after that, I am create again my uh, circle. It will be very small, will be only 5.2, like this. Snape, enable, and just copy this for all my diamonds, like this, like this. To make a hole for these diamonds inside in the number so i'll make like this after that copy of this text select them make it connect and delete and create a two extrude one and two put it inside and put it inside settings like before minus 10 and here will be also minus 10 so like this check it this extrude i will make it back and i have this zero so apply for this zero same material you can use any material what you like and this is this already for 10 subscribers very nice so just render and check what i have uh, don't forget yes i have 1 million photons and so calculation coming uh, not so fast but the picture will be more beautiful and yes i have like this looks like looks like very very nice it's depend what angle you will use but it's it's very beautiful okay uh and what now just take this yeah somewhere here we should to take out my diamonds and put it somewhere here so select it alt j on keyboard and make it like a like a zero okay uh, now i have 10 subscribers 100 subscribers and thousand subscribers very 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 nice so select all of them alt g and make it thousand now we can play with this thousand and put somewhere to the middle like this and and that's all so uh this diamond just little bit pushed down 
after that you have just to play with uh, I don't know with some camera animation and you will get you will get like this a picture so uh, wait a little bit and uh, I show you now one more thing very interesting thing uh, if you like to increase your render so look look what I have and I don't know I think this is very beautiful this is very beautiful so um, as you can see a uh, render of this pictures taken 16 seconds yes how to increase this time so very important if i am not use any animation of diamonds nothing nothing moving nothing scaling rotation nothing only like this i can use i'm going to render settings i'm going to photons and inside in the mod i can see rebuild don't save load and rebuild what does mean how how to use it so if I haven't any moving, I move only camera, I'm going here and make it rebuild. Inside in the rebuild file name, I'll go somewhere on my desktop and create a name, I don't know. I'll put tutorial diamond, like this. So just save it. I have like this file. After that, I have to render one time. And now coming preparation, coming this photons calculation, blah, 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 everything, and just look at the time. So photon mapping coming, photon something else, and only after that coming rendering. So I have 17 seconds. What next? If I don't move any of my diamonds, if I don't make nothing change, I just go my render settings, go to photons, and mod not rebuild just load so i have already this file and load these files here make render now just check what i have no any calculation of photons nothing and render only seven seconds so look at the difference no any different because photons already calculated i can change my camera angle for example like this it doesn't matter how i will use it again render check time no any photons calculation no any photons preparation i'll have everything automatically from download file you see like this it's it's really very fast 14 seconds without photons calculation but what's the problem if I'll use any camera, uh, sorry, not, not camera moving. First of all, I forget to enable this and I no need any reflection. So if I will use, for example, moving, I don't know, I take this diamond and just change angle and make it like this. Just, just like example, render and what I have. I have like this looks like very nice very beautiful but if I going to my photons mod and make it rebuild don't save or rebuild it doesn't matter what I use I will render same frame but I will receive a different photons because photons from this page taken from save file whereas a diamond was in other position I hope you are understood what is going on and what I mean so now you see a uh, photons have a big difference this is like it should be like a like a regional yes like a after calculation this like a fake from save file so if you like to use a load file never make a um, rotation or moving or or your glass or diamonds or any object which is given casting so i hope you are understood what i mean okay uh, so i will make a uh, for this diamond big uh, present position and what next so how to save and how export this uh, to my after effect first of all i'm open after effect and when it's coming to open it i am going here going to render settings first of all i will use a full hd and 864 it doesn't matter eight six four like this so i will have like this size of picture i'll check a render viewing window 
Okay, it will be like this, maybe just a little bit back. Okay, how to make it more beautiful? How to add additional effect to receive a very nice uh, specular, so diamond on the middle and thousand at the at the middle. So will be approximately like this. Okay, I am going to render settings. And inside Raiden settings, first of all, save folder. This will be PNG file. Uh, I'll save it somewhere on desktop. It will be tutorial uh, diamond like this. Just open that and file diamond. Save. Okay, I'll use a 16 bits. And additionally, I go to Redshift. Basic, yeah, maybe I will increase for 64 for a moment, just a little bit. I am going to AOV. I create a one multipass. So make it enable. And inside in the AOV, make a one. So I will use only one multipass. What kind of multipass inside types I will have? I will use a refraction. Only refraction uh, multipass. So all object which is have refraction will give me multipass. So I am uh, make it enable multipass and save file also like a PNG and 16 bits. So nothing more to change, just render and check what I have. So if I am going to layers, I'll have already two uh, how is calling two different uh, layers. So full background, this is like a full image, which is going now, and refraction. If I push and make it single, I will have like this, only which is, only object which is have a refraction. So when it's finished, I have 25 seconds per frame, I am going to Adobe After Effect. So inside Adobe After Effect, I am open from where is my desktop. Where is my tutorials diamond? I will have two different files. So just take it and make it import. Create from my diamond new composition like this. So I have it and take diamond AOV refraction multipass and put it above and use it like a screen. So without and with. You see, I have some additional uh, glossiness and it looks like more beautiful. And additionally, for this uh, multipass, I will add Trap Scott Star Glow, like this. And what kind of Star Glow I will use? I don't know, maybe you can use a white star, maybe you can use a backlighting. It's up to you. For example, star number two looks like very nice. And, and that's all. Uh, why I need this uh, multipass? Because if I have this multipass and I will add for my normal layer, I will add a star glow, I will have star glow everywhere. In this area, on the floor and for example like this. And it looks like not so good. So I have everywhere. But if I will use multipass, I will have it more correct. So uh, my tutorial completed. If you like this tutorial, please uh, subscribe, send me some comments, I read all your comments, I try to reply for everybody. Uh, don't forget, don't forget about special selling of my previous tutorial, only for first 20 person, uh, I'll give a 75% discount, you will get this very nice tutorial only for $5. Uh, so if you like these tutorials, put a like. Share to your friends and see you next time. Goodbye, friends.